ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் மோட்டிவேஷன் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு தி செகண்ட் எபிசோட் ஆஃப் ஏன்ஷியன்ட் ஹிந்து டெம்பிள்ஸ் ஆர் காஸ்மிக் எனர்ஜி சென்டர்ஸ் இன் அவர் ஃபஸ்ட் எபிசோட் வி அண்டர்ஸ்டுட் தேட் தி ஏன்ஷியன்ட் ஹிந்து டெம்பிள்ஸ் ஆர் காஸ்மிக் எனர்ஜி சென்டர்ஸ் இன் திஸ் எபிசோட் ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் யூ how this bundled amount of cosmic energy in our ancient hindu temples we are receiving without knowing to us our ancestors have implemented lot of methods to receive the cosmic energy without knowing those methods and practices we have been following it because our ancestors have told to us now let us understand the scientific reasons how are we receiving the cosmic energy into our body let's get into the topic my friends whenever we go to the ancient temples we take the dip in the nearby river or ocean three times including the head should become wet and we remove the shirt we enter into the temple with a bare body without wearing any shirt on top of our body let us understand what is the reason the scientific reason is my friends in my first episode i have told you that water will absorb the cosmic energy when our body is wet our body also absorb the cosmic energy with the help of the water as well as with the help of chakras in our body let me explain you the technical concept of chakras my friends as per adharva veda we have eight chakras in our body adharva veda says ashta chakra navadwara means our body has eight chakras hidden inside in our subtle body in our sukshma sharira we have this chakras in the physical body you can't see this chakras when we enter into the temple with a bare body with a wet body by removing the shirt this chakras will receive the cosmic energy and your chakras will get energized you will become energized human being my friends right from mooladhara chakra at the bottom of the spine till the sahasra chakra on top of the head we have eight chakras each chakra will have a particular energy regarding each chakra i decided to make separate episode you can follow my future episodes to understand more about this chakra my friends devotee will take a walk around the garbhagudi for three times just to receive this cosmic energy so these are the methods our ancestors have suggested us to receive the cosmic energy into our body and to make us the energized beings my friend this is the technical scientific reason behind this and not only that i will reveal you more secrets today my friends when you observe any lord shiva temple the priest will be keep on pouring the tulsi water or milk or panchamrutam or ghee over the shivaling we call it as abhishekam whenever we go to temple we also perform abhishekam by buying the milk outside and we give it to the priest what is the scientific reason behind this we will understand the shivaling in garbhagudi is being energized from thousands of years unless until we give some cooling effect to this shivaling which is a highly energized object it will be very difficult for us to sustain in the environment the priest will be pouring panchamrut water milk etc just to give the cooling effect to the highly energized object called shivaling my friends this is the top most secret scientific reason why we do abhishek for shivaling my friends and not only that the priest will take harati and the plate in the plate he take kapoor he light the kapoor 
he rotate it around the shivaling or the idol of the god three times and he will bring it and we touch the harati and we take the hand to agni chakra to the forehead so why do we take the heat of the aarti the warmness of the aarti to our forehead let me reveal this secret my friends in between the eyebrows on the forehead there exist agni chakra agni chakra is the symbol of fire if you observe lord shiva he has third eye in between the eyebrows on the forehead the third eye doesn't mean the physical existence of the eye this represents the energized agni chakra my friends this agni chakra is a symbol of fire when we take the harati which is been brought to us from the garbhagudi we touch the harati with our right hand we touch to the forehead so when we take the warmness from the garbhagudi this will touch to your agni chakra on the forehead and this will energize our agni chakra this is one of the method of energizing the agni chakra my friends so every method or practice that we follow in our ancient hindu temples which our ancestors have been suggested to us each method or practice is nothing but activating your chakra making you energized human being there are a lot of secret like this which we implement in our ancient hindu temples my friends and i will be making more episode regarding these ancient hindu temples or cosmic energy centers if you like to wish more episodes kindly comment below and keep following my videos thank you namaste